From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Wednesday the 28th of July. The lockdown in Sydney is set to be extended by at least another four weeks. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian is set to make the announcement this morning. It comes after the state yesterday recorded 172 new cases, the highest of the outbreak so far. That's despite the fact parts of New South Wales have been under lockdown since June 26. To court news, former Australian Olympian Nathan Bagley and his brother have each been jailed for more than 20 years over a failed plot to smuggle up to $200 million worth of cocaine into the country. A Supreme Court judge yesterday sentenced Nathan to 25 years jail with a non-parole period of 16 years. Nathan is a former professional kayaker who won two silver medals for Australia at the Athens Olympics. To the US now, and police officers who were working on the day of the Capitol riot in January have said they thought they were going to be killed by Trump supporters. They spoke during a government investigation into the attack, which kicked off this week. For the first time, I was more afraid to work at the Capitol than my entire deployment to Iraq. What we were suggested that day was like something from a medieval battle. We fought hand to hand inch by inch to prevent an invasion of the Capitol by a violent mob intent on subverting our democratic process. To the Olympics now and there was a shock overnight as the world's top gymnast, American Simone Biles, pulled out of the team final. The four-time Olympic champion said she was stressed and needed to focus on her mental health. I just felt like it would be a little bit better to take a back seat, uh, work on my mindfulness and I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job and I didn't want to risk the team a medal for uh, kind of my screw ups because they've worked way too hard for that so I just decided that those girls need to go in and do the rest of the competition. The American team went on to win a silver medal without her. As for what's coming up today at the Games, Aussie gold medalist Ariane Titmus is set for another showdown with American superstar Katie Ledecky. The two will battle it out in the 200 metre freestyle final with Titmus qualifying the fastest. To showbiz and Paris Hilton is reportedly pregnant and expecting her first child with her fiancé. According to reports, the couple has successfully used IVF to start a family. Hilton got engaged to venture capitalist Carter Room earlier this year. And finally, Georgie Coughlin has announced that she's quitting the project after 10 years on the show. The presenter says she has a few other projects to keep her busy, pardon the pun, including a boutique hotel in Ballarat that she runs with her husband. If you want news.com.au with fewer ads and member awards, get news.com.au premium today at news.com.au forward slash premium membership. That's it from the newsroom. I'll be back with another update in the afternoon. Your update from news.com.au.